Howdy survivors, welcome back to another build tutorial here in Ark Survival Ascended and today we're building this train station, the central station at least for my world. It's quite a big station with a main building, a little site maintenance building and a big overhang to wait in the shade for your train to arrive. Now this build does include a little bit of overlapping into other structures so I don't believe this is possible unofficial but maybe with a few alterations you should still be able to build this yourself if you want to use it unofficial. Before we get started if you want to show your support for these build tutorials make sure you like the video subscribe to my channel maybe leave a comment and if you want to show even more support the best way to do that is to become a YouTube member. Tier 2 actually gets early access to all the videos that I make. Let's get to building. Okay, to get started, of course, we need a foundation. In this case, I'm going to assume that you're building this as a train station as intended. So you'll have a platform. I would recommend a bigger one, but you need at least a shape for the main building of three by six like this. That's the middle shape that is already in the frontier skin. Then we need a four by six piece to the side and then a 4x9 on the other side but as I said before I would recommend having a bigger platform of course for your train station and the train tracks I would build at least a quarter wall lower for example if you want your station right here you would go from the snap point here one quarter wall up and one quarter ceiling away from the stay or from the tracks and that's where you start your platform for your train station In my experience that's the best way to kind of align the train and the platforms as you can see right here for my train station this is what it will look like and this is for context of how much bigger my platform is than the actual build that we're doing today but back to the actual foundations that you need again it's a three by six for the main building a four by six to one side and a four by nine on the other side. And then we'll get started right here by adding in some thin pillars on these two right here. So the corners of this first bit, then have a gap of three and another pillar and a gap of three and another one. We'll do the same here on the other side. This is where our kind of overhang is gonna be where you can wait for the train. We'll have another gap of three pillar, gap of three pillar, gap of three and another pillar on the other side as well basically creating all the shapes for the overhang that we'll have in a little bit now to make this a little bit easier start by placing down a wall right here then we'll take out our ramp and snap it to this like so we can take out the wall the ramp should stay and then you can start with adding this little overhang here on this side of the build and then of course we'll do the same thing here on the other side this is the easy part of the build for sure but you know if you're waiting for the train and it's on scorch earth you definitely want to make sure that you've got some shade i will also add in a beam across the top here to add in some extra detail and we'll have some quarter ceilings along the side just to make it look a little bit nicer and have a little bit of an overhang from the pillars that we have of course we want to do that on both sides and that's actually all we need to do almost all we need to do for this side portion we want to take out some railings and add them underneath to act as supports for this structure and you want to do this everywhere to align with the pillars we've placed down except for the last one obviously that's where the building is going to go so we don't need any support there and that is the little first side bit that we're working on now it's time to get started on the main structure we're actually going to take out a quarter wall we're going to have it right over here so one quarter wall away from that pillar and we want to start out by creating a little shape like this so four in total we're going to have two more right here this is where we're going to place a full wall on top of it we're going to have a door right next to that and then we'll continue our quarter walls like so 
And then we're actually going to create a custom window here. So we'll go up like this again. We'll fill in this with more quarter walls like so. And of course, have them above this door as well. Okay, then we'll add in a normal wall right here as well. And a tall doorway right here for our custom window. The way you create those is getting the snap point with a thin pillar like so, sticking into the door frame, then another one on top, and then two thin pillars connected to either side like this. And it's just a nice way to add in a custom taller window than the default ones we got. Then we want to take out some pillars and connect them here to the corners of the build and have a beam going across like this. So, so that we basically frame this entire wall that we have. And if you prefer, you can also add some uh, beams on the bottom and the top of the window. I just like the way it adds a little bit more depth and detail to the window and the wall. And of course, we'll add in a door right there as well. That's one wall done for now. Of course, we're gonna go a little bit higher than this. Okay, here at the back, we actually want to also add in the thin pillars on these places right here. So just outside of the building. Then we want to use a temporary wall right here so we can place down some more ramps like this. This is going to go into the building. We'll have a little bit of overlapping going on there. We'll do the same right here, but here we can just connect the ramps that we already had going from the side building that we've just made and now we can start adding in some walls we want to snap from the pillar right here in the corner we can have a wall on top of each other then connect the walls like this and leave the middle part for some nice double doors like so and we'll do the exact same thing here on the other side so we'll have to start from the pillar snap in these walls like so and then add in the double door again for the actual doors i like to use saloon door skins but we'll get to that later on so yeah we'll have a little bit of an overlap going into the building but um nothing too crazy and it just adds a little nice little ridge on the outside here as well then we want to add in pillars to the corners of these walls as well and then it's time to start the side part of the building on this side. We start with some quarter walls all on top of each other next to the pillars on both sides. Here we actually are going to design one of those custom window shapes again. Here on this side we're going to start with a normal wall and then a doorway right next to it. Here we'll connect some more of these quarter walls and then the top we can also completely connect all the way. And of course fill in this little gap right there we'll have a normal wall right here and then the tall doorway right there for another one of these custom windows that we did on the other side as well just because i like the look of those tall windows and we'll add some beams across the top there as well and we can connect the rest of this shape and layer with the beams as well as here on the front and the back. I'll fill in the door right here already too. And now it's time to start adding in our ceilings here. And we want to make sure that we line them up with this layer of the quarter wall. So right here. So basically right on top where these ramps end. Just because that way it looks a lot nicer from the inside. We can start filling them in. You want to keep a little gap here so we can add in some stairs and it's totally up to you whether you want to keep two gaps to give it a little bit more space or if you think one gap is totally fine and then we can add in these stairs going up from right here you can see it will end a little bit above the ground so it will actually overlap through the ceiling just because of the size of the building that we've created and then to add in some details you can of course add in some railings alongside the staircase as well as here on top so you don't fall from the stairs when trying to reach them and if you want to add in a little bit more detail you can add a little temporary quarter wall right here and then snap a pillar to it 
so you can have it all go all the way down as a support it's of course personal preference whether you want to use those thick pillars or the thinner pillars personally i like for this look the thinner pillars a little bit more so I'll add those at both of those places right there just so that it has a little bit extra support and of course we're going to change all the skins later as well okay then it's time to get started on the next layer of our build we want to start out by placing down some of these quarter walls three high and then we're going to go all the way across and take them down right there again and then it's time to add in two more of these custom windows that we want to add and then of course on the other side we're actually going to do the exact same thing so we'll start with the quarter walls going around like so creating the shape and then we'll add in our, our tall doorways right there for some windows here on the sides we're actually also going to create some of those tall windows to add in a bunch of light to this top layer of our building so we actually want to add in a couple of windows like this then have a layer of quarter walls again and then add another window here in the middle and we'll do the exact same thing on the other side as well so we'll add in the tall doorways like this and then just go around with the quarter walls all the way around this to create the same shape as we did on the other side now the easiest way to do all these windows is to kind of just now do all the pillar bits first and then do the beams later so you don't have to keep switching between the different variations that you need for these window designs so just first go around place down all the pillars that we need to get this little look and then once we've done that we'll add in the supportive beams to create the actual look for these windows so we'll go all the way around and add all these beams in and then once you've done all that you can also still add the beams into the top of course there's already a beam at the bottom so that is not necessary anymore but just to add extra little bit of depth to these walls i like to add one right there as well and then we actually can extend the pillars going up like so for the rest of our build and then here we want to overlap them a little bit so we can make the pillar go all the way to the actual top of this layer of the build like so and then it's time to get started on the roof design first off we want to add in a layer of these quarter ceilings on the edge of the building on one side and of course on the other side as well just so that we can have the roof sticking out a little bit then it's time to take out our sloped walls add them right here on the corners of course getting the right snap points and then filling in the walls adding in the rest of the shape like this fairly simple but it's quite effective and i think it will end up looking nice like this and that's almost everything you need to do then we'll take out the beams going across like so finishing off that shape for the front and back of the building and actually what i like to do as an extra bit of detail is adding in these trophy wall mounts because it's just a nice little detail that you can add and then you can of course decide what you want to add to this one of the boss heads or maybe a t-rex head it's all up to you but it is just a nice little way to add in some detail and make it feel more arc than just a western build at that then we want to take out our roof pieces snap them right so that you go over the edge and then go all the way across and fill in the roof like that very simple but it looks nice because we have a little bit of an overlap going on and then we want to do the same thing here on the other side as well just nice and easy overlap because i think that just always looks a little bit nicer and then if you want you could add some beams but for this design i chose not to do it so that is the middle building done now we're going to continue to the other side of the train station here we actually want to extend this layer of 
quarter ceilings as well to extend to all the way of the front of the building we'll take out the ramps again and start continuing this shape and you can probably guess it we'll continue this little overhang to create some shade but on this side we're actually going to build like a little staff like maintenance building underneath it so you have a little bit of extra room extra buildings here in the station so we start of course by building all this then we start adding in these quarter ceilings on the outskirts as well as a little overhang on the sides on the other side of course we want to make sure that we do the same thing connecting them back up with the building over here and then even though this little ledge doesn't line up i still would add the quarter ceilings to the edge just to extend it a little bit further there as well then it's time to start on this little side addition so we want to add in a pillar right there and there just to kind of structure out the side building that we're going to make we're going to have a normal full wall here on both sides and then we're going to have some quarter walls on top of that to fill that all in and we'll have another layer of pillars going right there okay then what we want to do is we want to add in some quarter walls right here four of them next to each other and then actually also here at the top of the building as well these we can actually continue to extra and then we'll have normal walls underneath that again so we'll do the same here on this side start with normal wall connect them up with the quarter walls and some quarter walls here down there as well and then we actually want to just snap in normal walls into this wall like this you'll see in a little bit later why we done that and then we want to add in pillars here as well just to differentiate and then here pillars on the end of the wall as well we'll have a normal wall and then a door right next to it as well as some more quarter walls on top of here to finish off this building unfortunately there is no sloped wall that goes for this steepness so we'll have to snap some of these railings into it to kind of fill in the gap anyway we also want to add in the railings right here as the supports and of course here underneath as more supports on the end of the build as well and we can finally add in the door right here and that is basically all the building almost done and then what i like to do is add in a little sign here for the train station um this works best if you're also using the scribbles mod to make custom signs but otherwise you can probably make it a little bit bigger at one of the normal signs if you want to or the a nice frontier custom one but uh, what i do is add in a little layer of these quarter walls then to get the snap point temporary pillar there add in some beams to the top of it just added a little bit of detail then you can get rid of this and then i place a custom scribble signs because they look a little bit nicer but if you're not using them instead of having this you could you could either try it with like a normal sign would be a lot smaller of course or you can have the custom frontier billboards but then i would probably build it on top of this so you have a little bit more room and you don't block the view of your main building but that is pretty much the entire design now it looks a little bit weird right now of course because it's not changed to the frontier skins the important bit is actually right here um, where we place those walls inside of the quarter walls you want to change the normal walls to glass to get this effect and then we can change the quarter walls to these normal frontier skins because the effect that you get is quite nice having these smaller windows going all the way through instead of just being in the middle and then of course we can change all the other textures i would also for this top part add in some glass windows right there just because it lets in an extra little bit of light and it's another little extra nice design for your build but the other textures you can all just change to the frontier pack going around all your build making sure you change everything 
And then once you're done, it should look something like this. Here you can see I've used the Manticore head on this side. This is a custom Scribbles sign as well. It looks a little bit nicer than what you can do with the default options. Of course, you could also add a sign like this somewhere, but it would require a little bit more room or just a normal sign and maybe some hanging signs around to add in some extra details. You can see I've used the plant pots for some greenery, adding in some benches around, a bunch of the storage options as like crates and goods that are waiting to be transported. And of course, the lanterns to add in some extra light and details. Here, there's another custom sign from Scribbles and then the drawing paper behind it. And then we have a alpha wyvern head on this side, adding in the details. We have the... Uh, saloon door skins here just because it looks a little bit nicer and a very simple interior i don't think i've done the interior for this side part but yeah you could have some more storage right there and then here is like a staff room or like a lounge room upstairs as well but more importantly of course you have a nice little addition for a train station if you want to make one I've actually also made a tutorial for the warehouse building that I have on the other side. If you're looking to add some more to your train station or an alternative train station design. And I've got a smaller train station for like an outpost as well. But yeah, I would definitely add in a bunch of benches around and trying to add in some crates and stuff to make the place really come to life other than just the main building. And with that being said, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you in the next build tutorial. Goodbye.